people also think too like money just buys happiness and it absolutely is not the truth you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying like you got to be right inside otherwise none of this shit means nothing no absolutely yeah. they get everything then this is this is something this is everything this pow mm -hmm. assalamu alaikum guys before I start, I just wanted to say I'm raising money for a girls school that's being built by my friend in Gambia. Link is in the description and by the end of the video, you're gonna know why I've picked this particular project. Okay, before we begin, I wanted to share a profound clip by the famous rapper Eminem. When I think about my accomplishments, like that's probably the thing I'm the most proud of, you know, is that, is being able to raise kids. Now this clip alongside that footage or bit of news that's going around of a hijabi spitting at a police officer and this whole raising money for the girls school has got me thinking how is all this related? <laughs> okay so the first 10 years of any person's life are the most important in terms of the upbringing. What we learn in the first 10 years stays with us for the rest of our lives. In fact during this time even our brain is the most receptive it will ever be. It's in a state called theta which means it is very suggestible. This is a state that hypnotists and therapists try to induce to reach our subconscious. Now this vital stage is missed for most of us yeah. Mum spends most of the day in front of dramas or cooking whilst dad is out most of the day working. So this upbringing is done mostly by the school which are pretty much unstable teachers and a colonized curriculum. <laughs> what? Or it's done by music which is filled with promiscuity, intoxicants, stereotypical gender roles, girl chasing after boy, boy thinking the girl is you know somebody who he can make it rain over. What? or TV yeah even these small kids programs glorify girls chasing boys or pursuing an unrealistic standard of beauty or the fact that success is in being heard and being seen. This is done by exposing oneself, giving away one's dignity, being vulgar, you get the point. If it's not that then ask yourself which female role models do our girls have? I don't know about you but the most famous female role model or scholar that I can think of is Yasmin Mujahid. The rest are just beauty YouTubers who are trying to conform to the mainstream or just trying to dilute their Muslimness. Of course I'm not talking about all of them but I'm talking about you know the ones that are famous. Whilst all of this is going on bang that's when our girls are entrusted with the hijab. Yes take the hijab go out there and represent the entire religion. Yes, there you go. If, if you don't though, it's haram, yeah? Go and do it now, yeah? And of course the only source of Islam that these girls have to understand the hijab, what it represents is madrasa, which is a couple of hours a day in which they're just learning the Arabic, yeah? They're not really learning the religion and when they look around in their circles, be it, you know, TV, music, friends, the religion isn't really seen as something cool. In fact, even if you look in the media, it's just constantly being demonized. Do you believe in the Quran and the Hadith? You're a jihadi. No, you are a jihadi. Yeah, so it's just a headache. They don't like standing out. This cloth makes them stand out as it is. And now if they're now, you know, affiliated to a religion which is constantly linked with terrorism, that's just not what they need, is it? So <laughs> After painting this bleak picture, what is the solution? Let's look at what's in place for the boys and when you compare it with what is actually in place for our girls, it's pathetic. In fact, if you look in some countries, the women's section in the mosques isn't even open. Gotta put study circles in place, yeah? And if your girls are mashallah practicing, have good manners, encourage them to be YouTubers. What? <laughs> yeah, you heard me mate, because the other girls, that are literally drowning, drowning in the dunya. They need these role models. Stop keeping these gems that you have, you know, in, in your little family so they can just benefit two or three people. No, we need them mate. And of course dads, yes dads, 
You gotta love your daughters. Spend time with them. Give them your love because if you don't, they're going to go out there and get it from other people and those other people will not love them unconditionally like you. They have an agenda. They will use and abuse them and break them further. And if someone like Eminem who has been around promiscuity, fame, money, you name it. If he understands the importance of being a dad, then why can't you? This is my baby and ain't nobody finna touch him. Even psychologist Simon Baron Cohen says that boys or men tend to be systemizers, whilst women and girls tend to be sympathizers, i.e. more in tune and in touch with their feelings. So they need that from a young age from their father. So they know what sort of standard to have when they get older. So in other words, what I was trying to say was, it is unreasonable to hold hijabis to a high standard when the relevant foundation hasn't been put in place. Rather than putting them down, we should try to understand the origins of their behavior and put support networks in place rather than hoping they will correct their path just because they're wearing a hijab. If your sisters and you're like, all right, that sounds all well and good, but that's long-term advice. What can you give us for now? Islam is the only thing that is truly looking out for you without expecting anything in return. Everybody else wants something in return. The sooner you realize that, the sooner your marriages will become better, your role as a mother will become better, your role in life will become better. You'll feel liberated, you won't be used, you won't feel the need to trying to aim for a standard that's unachievable by society and by these Instagram models and by these magazines and movies. And now you can see why I am supporting this girls school in Gambia and now you can also see how I linked the school with hijabis with m and There you go guys, it's okay to be impressed, you know what I'm saying? It's okay, you know. Alright guys, I'm gonna leave it there until next time. People also think too, like money just buys happiness and it absolutely is not the truth. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like you gotta be right inside. Assalamu alaikum.